James Madison and the gorgeous camp. So listen, I, I, I just wanted to, to come out here. I know that we had limited seating inside. I wanted to let all of you know how grateful I am for you taking the time to come by and say hello. And just to remind everybody that this is a pretty big election we got coming up. Now, there are a lot of young people in the audience, and think about your future. Now, are we going to be able to provide jobs that pay good wages and provide good benefits so you can raise your families? Or are we going to make college more affordable so that, so that you're not being loaded up with fifty and sixty and $70,000 worth of debt when you graduate? Uh, are we going to have an economy that works for everybody? Are we going to have an energy policy that frees ourselves from dependence on foreign oil? Are we going to have a foreign policy that makes sure that we provide for the common defense, but we also are not engaging in wars like the war in Iraq that are wars of choice instead of wars of necessity? Are we going to deal with long-term problems like climate change and the deficit and make sure that Social Security is there for the next generation? But we've got a lot of big choices ahead of us. And the fact of the matter is that this election, more than any other in my lifetime, represents a clear choice between the past and the future, between hope and between fear, between us saying that we're all, each of us, on our own, and those of us who say, you know what, we're in this thing together, and we got to look out, not just for ourselves, but also for each other. So uh, there are a lot of important decisions to be made, and no state is going to be more important in this election, then this state right here, the great state, the great Commonwealth of Virginia. And I'm telling you, you, especially all these younger voters out here, many of you are first time voters, many of you have not been involved in politics before, this is a time for you to make your mark. This is the time for your voice to be heard. Now people say, well, my vote doesn't matter. This time it does, because this is a critical election, it's a defining moment in our history, and because it could be real close here in Virginia.